I know you've been messaging me for, for weeks, months even, for the cell board issue tutorial, so here you go, just for you. I had to write it on my arm to remind me, look, because I'm generally crap in that department. Um, in order to have a really good, solid, strong, well-balanced elbow grip Aisha, um, you need to push away from the bar. So you, you, you won't do any arm to learn how to caterpillar up the pole correctly. Um, we like to call it fudge head scoop here at Tricksters. You'll need one hand by your fudge, the other hand by your head. And you're going to push away from the bar and then scoop your legs up. So I'll demonstrate that for you. So we'll go to our basic inverted crucifix. One hand by your fudge, the other by your head. You're going to push away from the bar, get into a forearm grip. You're really pulling the pole into your chest and the pole's nice and flat against your forearm. You're going to scoop your legs. Again, you'll go fudge, head, Push away from the bar, scoop your hand down, pull the bar in close, scoop up your legs. If you can do that quite, quite strongly then, there's no reason why you can't go ahead and attempt the elbow grip Aisha. Um, I'm going to advise doing it on your own, do it, uh, do it in class with a spotter or a teacher to help you or whatever. So again, you're going to invert to a crucifix, fudge head, scoop, but this time you're going to get your elbow on. You don't even have to commit to the eye issue, you can toy around, do a butterfly first, at least that way you've got some secure limb on the bar, and then maybe it's just trying to take your knees off. And then when you think you're ready, Commit to the full Aisha. Um, I tend to lead with the same leg as my strong arm. So the arm that you've got bent, in my case, is the right arm. My right leg comes off, and I try and work towards crunching the side. So when I take my other leg off, it kind of balances me out. But you should kind of uh, get used to cartwheeling out of things. Um, for handsprings, it's a lot of your handsprings. If you go up to an invert and you do a butterfly, can't we allow it a bit? Same with an Aisha. At least that way you haven't got the fear of clambering, trying to find the pole again before you break your face. Um, so I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean. Again, invert crucifix. Push away. Aisha. Can't we allow it? Get used to cat wheeling out. Do it with the spotter first, and then another time. It won't take two minutes to get used to the motion, and you'll be away. I'll be why you you in. Hope it helps. I also like to add um, alignment is also key. Um, when you push away, your head must be facing the bar. Uh, you can't do anyway in the Aisha. It's usually uh, butterfly and split grip Aisha's that tend to, tend to lead to one side. But just make a point of knowing that if your forehead's opposite the bar, then you're pretty much good to go. And if you can imagine a triangle from your hips to the bar, you're also good to go. So that's really good alignment. So head facing the bar, triangle, pull to hips. Perfect alignment. Good luck, let me know how you get on.